What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We've got some really exciting news today. How are we going to start this? Well, it's pretty obvious at this point, isn't it? It is obvious. We are sitting in an empty Sprinter van. This is a 2008 totally gutted Sprinter van that we are starting new today. Starting a new build today. We're starting Renault's on today. Starting Renault's on today. So two things that are very exciting. Number one is we are doing another build. Yeah! Number two is that we are doing daily vlogs. <laughs> are you committed? We're committed. It's happening. Daily vlogging starts today. Just for the build. We'll see how long it lasts. Just for the build. It'll be super cool for you guys to be able to follow along every single day, showing you the journey, going to Home Depot. We're going to try and explain to you and give you a really easy understanding on what is involved in converting a van and it's gonna kind of be like you're coming along for the ride. It's so interesting because we've done this before and so in my mind it's not that big of a project but sitting in here it's with nothing a little yet, intimidating like, all over again. So I think a lot of people are like well what are you gonna do with the second van? I think so. We are not selling these vans. We are converting the van for a dear friend of ours. Someone you guys have all met. Well, enough, yeah. enough talk about him. Let's bring him in. Whoa! Where'd you come from, buddy? <laughs> Hello, everyone. How you doing? Good. Good. How you doing? Excellent. We're super excited. This is going to be my dad's van, and he is obviously going to participate a lot in the build. You guys have seen him. He helped us out a lot with our build. Mm -hmm. So he's a little bit jealous, and he's going to be uh, getting a van of his own to do some adventures. So that's what's going on. I hope you guys are excited. I can't stop smiling. I'm really excited. Oh, as son? for the layout, I just think it'd be a really good opportunity. Maybe Bob, you feel comfortable chatting to the camera, letting these guys know what the layout situation is going to well, be. Well, it's going to be your your van works so well that uh, I think it's going to be not that much different than your van. Uh, maybe a few things that we've learned as we did it, but I think overall it'll be very similar to your van. Right? It'll just be that much easier now that we've done one. Exactly, Hopefully, exactly. And the paint department's ready, Bob. So all right, we're Beautiful good to bit. go. All right. So I hope you guys are super excited for the next couple weeks. We're going to be producing a video every single day, starting today. Amen cannot stress that enough. <laughs> let's get going, guys. We got to let's do it. Finish All right. This All right. Let's do it. The first thing that we're going to change, and the first thing that we're going to start with today, is we're going to uh, elevate the floor. So we're going to use like a two by three, and actually do a really, really good job of insulating. My dad is a little bit shorter, so he will not have that issue of hitting his head. Do some math. Yeah, we need 110 uh, feet of two by threes. That's stuff. Yeah. Okay. Are we just running the length of the van? No, every so often we have to do it that way too. Put the, uh, Should we get an L gun? That's up to you. In fact, we might get an L gun. I'm thinking we get the floor on, rock solid, and then we build up from the floor. I hope that's the right way to do it. Home Depot, here we come. All right, this is going to be the first of many trips here at the Home Depot. Oh, thanks, brother. Appreciate that. Are we gonna count the amount of trips we go? Yeah, that'd be good. All right, so this, this is fun. one. First trip of the uh, of the build. Guys, you gotta make sure that they're straight. See, if you look along the line, that one's okay. But look at this one. Hockey stick. Uh, Three hundred twenty-five divided by eight. Is that how many? It's how many we need. Straps we need? Yeah. So Beck's probably going to kill me, but this was on sale. This is a nail gun. I've wanted one for a long time. It is cordless, so it works with the Milwaukee tools I already have. But it's 300 bucks. I'm going to buy it. We can always return it. Sorry, Beck. You ready to go? How you doing? Got 40 of these. So that guy said I could use that nail gun for 90 days and still return it. Perfect. Say it again, bro. Why didn't we think about buying a nail gun hey, last you time? You can vlog. I gotta drive. Why do I vlog? You just point at your face and talk. No, no. You point at your face. Okay. I was just wondering why we uh, do you have to push a button. Can you see yourself there? Oh yeah. Okay. Have a look there. <laughs> I'm just a new vlogger but, here. Dude, by the end of the build, you're gonna be so pro at vlogging. Yeah, I was just wondering why we didn't buy a nail gun last time. Uh, the guy was just telling Eamon you could actually buy a nail gun and try it for 90 days. And if you uh, don't like it for any reason whatsoever, you can just return it to them. So that seems to be a little strange, but... Um, That's 
what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do, I guess. Over and out, Charlie. You're gonna get some B-roll. Hmm? Some B-roll is like when you're when you're shooting and you've cut that clip and now you're overlaying some. Oh, I see. All right, we're gonna intro Bob's B-roll. Half an hour, 45 minutes. I know, second build, I know what to expect. Home Depot trips take at least double to triple the amount of time this guy says they will. And I'm probably gotta gear up for some painting. Don't I? Well, buddy, 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 not even painting necessarily as much as bracing yourself for our new Milwaukee. No. Nail gun. Eamon, you can't just buy a nail gun. Well, I bought it, we can always return it, but it was on sale. It was You're reduced, You're such it was a used. little snitch. <laughs> You're a bad kid. I know. I can't have kids with you. That's dangerous, man. I know. Holy crap, kid. You can't just go to the Home Depot and just pick up whatever tool you want. That's not how it works. I know. You wanna see it? No, you're not keeping it. Go return it. Okay, I knew she wouldn't take this well. <laughs> We can't do much if we don't eat, so I'm just making the boys and myself some lunch. Boom, that looks unreal. I know, it's really good. Vegan Caesar salad with just like a big veg potato kind of mix. Okay, first step of the day is we're gonna lay down our boards. We have actually decided instead of going like this, we're gonna lay them like this. We'll save a little bit of height, and then we'll just get the, uh, the right thickness of you know, insulation and, and insulate the entire floor. Uh. This van came with these bolts that were coming up. I have no idea what they would have used it for. But they're just a little bit higher than the wood that we're, or the floor that we're laying. So I'm just gonna bust those off. We've been spending a bit of time playing around with this because the step here, the metal is not as flat as everything else. So we're shimming under here and raising that up and then we're gonna no spring. pop it down. So there's what? So there's no spring when you step on it? Like yeah, that. this is the most walked area. So that's why we've added extra support there. We've got those supports a little bit tighter. That one's a little bit wider because that's where the cabinet's going. So just to get a little extra support. The last thing you want to do is build your whole van and then your, your floor is a little squishy or you get stuff shaking. I just want to be a part of the series. I think my dad's getting tired, but I'm ready to keep going. I'm going to do a few more straps, I think, just to kind of get that project started so that we can just smash it in the morning and move on to something else. My landlord came by and he was talking to us about spray foam and he says, for sure, for sure, for sure, you want to check out the kits that they sell at Home Depot. So I'm going to head there probably tonight and check that out as well. Do you have any snacks in there? D9. You're learning your uh, photography skills, eh? By the end of this, you might have your own channel. Hashtag uh, Bob on YouTube if you guys want to see Bob uh, start his own channel. Yeah. <laughs> you can speak. It, this is not like you're going to act or anything. It's just like all <laughs> raw, you know? Yeah, I love it. Okay, I got uh, fruit and nut. Fruit and nut. Pushing through, guys. So we're going to... The floor has been laid. We haven't made any decisions on kind of our insulation and everything, but now we're gonna move on to strapping. That's kind of the next thing we're looking at doing. We're gonna do a three quarter inch floor. So I've got that board just laid at the bottom there. And we've used this, what's this called? One by? One by two. One by two, thin strapping. And I'm just gonna, that's gonna flex in there. I'm ready to do self tappers into there so that we have uh, wooden studs to, that we'll be able to put the wall on. And that's going all the way around the van. Another great reason about this setup is you can turn it into a work van. So you can fit all your 2x4s, even with the bed down. Are you focused on me? 
So while the boys are doing that van, I am working on spring cleaning in this van. This has been the first really nice day in a long time. As you can see, I got bare shoulders, so that's a good sign. Look at how nice these cupboards are all looking. So clean and organized. If you're an OG viewer of ours, you know what a mess this area in particular always is, so I'm feeling really good about that. Anyways, back to the van build. I don't know what I call it. You said, Eamon, do you have the technology to just uh, set the camera there and then make it go <laughs> I said, yep, yeah, we can do that. Enter time lapse now. Very funny. Okay, all the walls have been strapped. I think I told you guys how we did that, but basically we use this bit here and we pre-drilled them because we wanted to countersink that so everything's flush. And then we just use these self-tapping screws. It's so important that you get one with like that little wing on the end. Because there are two different types. Yeah, so there's two different types and these ones just work so well. So once you've got that hole, you just fire it in. And you can kind of see the wood take shape of the van. It starts to warp a little bit. And this is one and a half inches deep by a size 14 screw. That's a wrap on day one. Very stoked on day one completion. We have finished the floor. We have finished the strapping. We gotta figure out an insulation solution. And then tomorrow, we're gonna start the wiring. Pretty exciting stuff! Yeah! Let's go eat some soup. That concludes today's episode, which is volume one of this new van build coming at you. We're so excited to bring you guys along for the journey, so make sure that you've subscribed. Hit the like if you guys enjoyed this video so that every we know. Every single day, all day. Vlog's coming your way. Every single day, all day. Say that Vlog's for free coming. self Friday. Your babe. way. I'm not doing free self Friday every single day, all day. Vlogs oh, are not coming true. your way. True, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. The next few weeks are gonna be crazy. You're gonna see a lot of Bob, a lot of me, maybe not as much Beck, but maybe we'll show Beck. Maybe we do need more Beck. I think we Hashtag need more. Hashtag more Beck. <laughs> uh, I think we, we, yeah, we'll show you probably some of the business. She'll be on deliveries, it's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna be on deliveries? I think she's gonna be on deliveries. Oh. <laughs> Tomorrow's gonna be another fun day here at the shop making stuff with our hands. All right, goodbye. What? You're chewing. It's because you've got liquid and the crunch of the broccoli. <laughs> Here's what's going on tomorrow. Is that a, like a manual boomerang? Yeah, it's a boomerang. <laughs> a starter point? The rest is butter. The rest is nothing. Butter? Yeah. You're gonna ease it on, whatever yeah, you want to do. Butter. Is butter, but look in the, the rest is butter. There's George Setzel. <laughs>